right, well, welcome, welcome. Today, I have what is called a Smith Corona Chancellor. I have never seen one of these before. So I really love the look of it. It's all white, has the, um, well, I don't even know what color this is, a wheat colored uh, keyboard. Um, I could not find any information on the Chancellor. And really, it looks, uh, has all the function and the look of like an Electra 110. Um, so I don't know really what the difference is other than it just has a different plate, front plate on it. The color, I mean, the little on off light is different, but, and I don't know if it's a 60s or a 70s. So um, could be late 60s, early 70s not sure about it but anyway this is what it looks like and so we're gonna do a tutorial video and like I said it's actually very similar to the Electra 110 but nevertheless let's um, let's kind of take a little tour of this guy so we'll start down here and you'll see it has the regular space and the power space here's the on off switch we're gonna turn it on and then this is what the uh, power light looks like. Um, I'll open it up so you can kind of see. Well, I don't know if you can, but there's the motor on the left side on these Smith Corona electrics. That's where the motor will be. Um, there's the regular space, power space, margins are up here. Uh, to load a piece of paper and I know for those of you that watch regularly I'm doing completely different than what I normally do but you load the paper right here behind this plate and in front of the one that looks like a ruler just put it right there turn the handle comes through very nice if you need to adjust it here is the paper release pull that forward you can adjust your paper make sure you re-engage uh, carriage release handles on each side behind the roller handle so it doesn't matter which one you use and let me move that margin in see if we can hear the bell there's the bell Put it in this side. Um, so we were doing the space power space um, here's the tab in the middle is a tab there's one set there. Let's see. It should clear. If you want to clear it, this should clear it. There we go. To set it is this little button right here. So you can set it. There you go. Um, margin release. It's for when you get to the margin and you can't go any further. If you hit the margin release, you can keep going if that's what you want to do instead of hit the return handle copy set that just determines how hard these type bars are going to strike your paper and sometimes you can tell a difference sometimes you can't now this does have the two color uh, universal ribbon in it and so there's the black selector there's the red and then on this side the left side is rib rev that means ribbon reversal so let's go ahead and look at the ribbon I'm going to open up the top and before you open the top, make sure your carriage is over to the left so this handle isn't in the way and then you just pop that open gently and you'll see the spool in here and if yours doesn't have your original spools in it, then you can certainly purchase a universal ribbon. We offer them on our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com. But if you have your original spools and you want to keep them and you just need fresh ribbon, then you can go to our website and we have what's called the custom ribbon option. Just select that. You send us your spools. We'll wind it with fresh ribbon and send it back to you. Okay, so here's the two color ribbon I told you about. Black is on top. Red is on bottom. To change it out, it doesn't matter which side. You just pull it up and out. When you put it back in, make sure that black is on top. Now you can use other colored ribbon um, if you want. It's just black, red is standard. Make sure your ribbon is threaded through these guide wires. So if you need to see an up-close photo of this so you know how to thread it, 
there's a link in the description below to the product listing. Also, you'll find a link to the product demo, and it's actually going to be at the end of this video. It'll pop up as an option, so just click on that, and then you can see how this types. Um, also, when you're threading it, make sure you're aware that you're going to get ink on your hands. It's very messy, but um, in this case, you have to thread it from the top. Some of them you thread it from behind or underneath. This one needs to be threaded from the top and behind, I think. I can't tell without taking it out. And it's very messy, so I don't really want to take it out. But just uh, thread it through until it looks like this. And make sure, again, that it's threaded through the guide wires. And one thing that I always forget to show is make sure your ribbon comes off the back, not off the front, okay? All right, just pop that down in there. Um, get a thing, all right. What else do we need to look at? So we did the tabs, we did the margins. Here is a paper holder up here also your line selector on the left side, that one, one and a half, two, that's for when you hit your return handle. It's gonna advance either one, one and a half, or two lines. And then on the right side of the roller handle, you'll see a button. It is not on the right side, it's only on the left. And what that is, when you turn the roller handle, you can hear it clicking. And that's every half of a line. But if you um, are trying to line something up, you just press in this button while you're turning the handle and it releases the roller so you can kind of um, line things up a little bit better. Okay, that is how you use um, this Chancellor by Smith Corona. I would love to know if you come across one of these since I've never seen one. And if you have one and you know when it was purchased, let me know um, because that would help us in dating the typewriter. And um, like I said, uh, I haven't seen this. And when I looked on typewriter database, there was no record of a chancellor on the database either. So any information, if you come across it, would love to have it so that we can learn a little bit more about this typewriter. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all visit our website. Give us a like, a thumbs up, subscribe. That just helps us um, grow our audience and be seen by those who want to see us. Thanks so much. Have a good day.